seatbelt. I want to take a journey through this emotional roller coaster. Some of these problems are new, some are just older. I haven't moved them because they've been stuck so long under a boulder. Let's start with trust. All I remember is getting sideswiped by a bus. Yeah, we all been there. Allowing our walls to completely fall. Trusting that person. They call last shot. They won eight ball. Then it makes me angry. Drives me to be cranky. I have an outlook on a certain situation. It's like I'm ready to speak, but then I close the curtain. I don't want to be weak and start accusations. Then it turns to anticipation. But this excitement turns to tension, which is now apprehension. Anxiety or fear that something bad or unpleasant is going to happen. It's like I'm an animal in a cage. People just sitting around, even clapping. Why haven't I learned my lesson? That's the first thing I told you I got hit by a bus. Now these emotions are churning. I'm at the point of disgust. I just want to take everything from above, smash it and turn it into dust. I want to be a fighter, not use my gloves. I want to be free, like a beautiful white dove. This becomes my ultimate fear. Maybe I was in the bus. Maybe I was the one to steer. But I stopped and looked at the headlights, stood there like a deer. Then another emotion seeped in. It's called sadness. My head is so messed up, the only way to explain it is one word called madness. Interfering the ability to distinguish right from wrong. But how could this be? I'm too tough. I'm like King Kong. I'm gonna relinquish my grip on the rope because I no longer want to be strong. I follow my heart. It never does me wrong. I fell into another place called joy. I see bright lights. I feel like an altar boy. This is the hardest place for me to be. I try to stand up and move my feet from beneath. I can't budge. I'm stuck in the seat. I try to yell for help. Then I hear a voice say, you're secure. I'm your seatbelt.